Good afternoon, everyone. It's The Wanderer, and as you can see, today I am in Dotenbori, perhaps one of Osaka's most famous landmarks. As you can also see, it's absolutely jam-packed. Now, Dotenbori is very, very famous shopping area. Osaka itself is very famous for its street food, so we're going to be trying out a little bit of street food today. Loads of different bits, and I'll give you the reviews on them. Also in this vlog, everyone, we started the day at Osaka Castle, so you're going to see some lovely food footage of a very historical and very important castle, huge part of Japanese history. You're going to see a few shots of that. Anyway guys, I am very taken aback by this place, it is absolutely incredible. If you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. On the Wanderer, here we go guys, Dotenbori, just like the running man over there, let's make a move. should be approaching the main gate now to the main entrance of Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle itself is one of Japan's most famous landmarks, opened in 1597. And according to the internet, because of course I had to check, it is an absolutely vital piece of Japan's history, helped with the unification of Japan in the 16th century, I believe. So that's what I, so I heard, so there we go. Okay, so we're just going to go get some tickets to go into the castle itself. 600 yen for an adult ticket. Very good price to see a huge part of Japanese history. You do just have to pass through a temperature check building, so they just scan your arm and obviously if you're good you can proceed. And we're just going to grab two tickets now. Right everyone, so that was the first part of the video done at Osaka Castle. We are now going to make our way to Dotenbori for the rest of the vlog where we're going to try out some of Japan's most famous street food. Now once again, admission to the castle, 600 yen, very good price. I feel like I've learned a lot today. Third and fourth floors, can't take any photos, but the rest of the castle you can. Fantastic observatory deck, lovely views of Osaka, and uh, as I say, we're now on our way to Dotenbori, so we'll see you there.
starting off our street food journey with some sauce takiyaki. Mm. It's very hard to pick up, but I'm going to eat it in one. Here we go. That's really fun. Not sure what sauce they use, but to me, it's looked like they got some kind of barbecue sauce going on. Something dropped out here though, just want to find out what this is. Two seconds. What's this one, Tuscan? This is the taco itself. Here we go. Mmm. Chewy. Nice flavour. Really good. Street food journey. We're here in Kushikatsu Sakura and we're gonna have some Kushikatsu. So basically, um, I think Toshiko says she's gonna go for quail egg and possibly lotus root. I've got my eyes on octopus, shishamo smelt, and some beef as well. And you know what? You can't beat street food without beer. And this one, I mentioned it in the fire ramen video premium malts. This is the one. I wish you could get this in England a lot more easy. Now to be fair, you can, because if you go to London and you go to the Japan Centre in London, they do have premium malts in can, and if you get the chance, I highly recommend it. to arrive we've gone for the dote yaki uh, so this one is simmered beef gristle and Toshiro has added some spice on there so it should give it a nice kick here we go mm. some really nice beef really chewy the spice that was added to it oh there's a nice little kick there not extreme not extreme really nice gotta wash it down and we're off to a really strong start. I've got three items. I'm gonna start with what I know I'm gonna like. I've got the beef here, so we've got some beef. Which goes told me that when I get it on there, I've got to slap some sauce on that. Right, let's see how this goes. Oh my man. Mm. That is that is pure perfection. That is absolutely gorgeous. Crunchy outside there. Beef, really chewy. Very flavorful. Oh man. Second piece, this is my my octopus, my taco. Already had takoyaki, octopus in that was lovely. Mmm. Mm. Wow, that packed a really nice flavor. Now, I never thought I'd be saying this before coming to Japan, but I think I like octopus more than I like beef. This is amazing. On my second bite, I didn't get the last piece of octopus, but that's good because you guys get to have a nice little look at it. Here we go. Mm. So this is the last piece. This is the shishamo smelt. There you go, you can see. I mean, that is, that is a fish. That does look, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try a, I'm gonna try a bite without the sauce on this one, then I'll add afterwards. Here we go. Mm, that's really strong. Imagine, imagine a fish flavor. Think of the last thing that you had that was like fish, and amplify the taste because that is just pure, pure seafood. That is amazing. Added some sauce here. Here we go. Even better. Oh, that is. Wow. 
I mean, that is just really nice, really, really good. Again, it is just strong, strong fish. Oh, I love it. You do want to be careful with these guys because I think you can clearly see there is bone on that. So you do want to be careful. Mushko has allowed me to try a little bit of what she picked here. This is red pickled ginger. Uh, so berry shoga is the Japanese pronunciation. Thank you, Toshiko. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Packed a punch. Very juicy. Mm. That was gorgeous. I really like that. Toshko's recommended this one to me. It's, uh, you may not think it by how it looks, but it is chicken with cheese. So I'm gonna try it again without the sauce. Let's go right in. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Mm. You can see in there, I hope you can. That's some really nice, soft, flaky chicken. Didn't really pick up too much of the cheese flavor on that first bite. So I'm gonna get a second one up top here. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there it is. Not a, not a very, very strong cheese, but certainly good enough. Yeah, it's a combination that I wasn't sure would work, but actually, no, that's really, really cool. I like it. So chicken and cheese, there you go. Lovely stuff. Okay then everyone, so we are near the end of our street food journey. This place, however, was absolutely fantastic. All the food in there was wonderful. And I want to give a shout out to the lovely lady who served us during our time there. If you do stumble across this channel, please leave a comment and say hello because honestly it was an absolute pleasure. You were so friendly. Good luck with your English lessons as well. From the bit that you did speak, you're doing very well. Please keep it up. Anyway, we have got one more item to try and we want to try now some okonomiyaki. Or, me and Toshko have a bit of a running joke because she made me some when I went to her place when she was living in Oxford. So let's go and get some. Let's go. Here we go. I would also like to very, very quickly add as well that the price, uh, so we had all that street food, uh, four beers, two apiece, came to 5,020 N, uh, which is roughly the same as the fire ramen stuff. We call it about 30 pounds, 30 pounds in British money there. Not too bad, I would say, honestly. Right, let's go find that Okonomiyaki. I can say it. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. <laughs> We were going to stop at Okonomiyaki, but we came across this place, the uh, 551 here, very famous, and pork bun is incredibly famous and popular in Osaka. Uh, Toshikos said I could have a bite of this one, so here we go. It, I have to say though, it smells gorgeous, it really does. Right, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> It tastes as good as it smells as well. That is really nice. The first thing that comes to my mind is, uh, you guys remember the, the meat, the um, pork faggots? They are absolutely, it, it tastes just like them. It's wonderful. I'm gonna have another bite if you don't mind. That is absolutely superb. This part here, just really soft. I mean, give it a squeeze. The meat inside, spot on. Let's go find that Okonomiyaki. I said it to someone in the comment section recently, you're never too far away from the big M. <laughs> Everyone, 
so we're in our final location, we're going to have some Okonomiyaki. Um, I did want to film how it looked before it came out, as the bowl came out, the lady started beating everything inside. Uh, so it's eggs, vegetables and pork. We have it here on this hot plate, we just wait for it to be done. Uh, wait for, I think we turn it over a couple of times, right, turn it over. Um, and then we'll let you know how it is. But as I say, this is the final stop on our street food tour here in Osaka. It's been honestly a lot of fun, I've really enjoyed it. But we'll let you know how this is. Okay, because there was two of us, we did have to order two items, so we've gone for the dutty yaki, so here we go. Give this a try. Yeah, so really nice. It's basically egg. There was a bit of um, pork in there as well. Here we go. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. We're just waiting for our main event here. Staff should come and flip it soon. I'm just going to finish this one off camera. Osaka's famous Okonomiyaki, although Toshiko has told me apparently her mum does it better. <laughs> I've only had it once before and as I say it's when I visited you uh, when you were living in Oxford so let's see how this goes. Here we go. It's not too bad actually, it's not bad. The sauces that they put on made it quite sweet. The flavours in there, you see you've got your vegetables, you've got a bit of um, meat in there, but I don't really think I caught any. You've got your fish flakes here. Um, these are quite nice, I had a couple on their own. They're kind of like a little snack, like crisps, no, not bad. Okay, I found some of the meat, here we go. Now that is good. That is really, really, really good. Pork there, full of flavour. Sauces just gave it that punch. I do highly recommend it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to finish though because we've had so much today. I'm pretty full. And later on we do have a night of karaoke planned, which is going to involve maybe a burger. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish this, guys. I'll tell you all about it outside. Right then everyone, so that was our final stop, Fugetsu, at the Okonomiyaki. Honestly, in my opinion, it was all right. I don't think it was anything to write home about. Oh, sorry, sorry, after you, my friend, after you. It was uh, not much to write home about, in my opinion. It tasted okay, the vegetables, the pork, the egg mixture, uh, it tasted just as much as you'd expect them to. I think the pork, obviously, as you'd expect, star of the show. Would I have it again? Well, Toshiko still says her mum's was better. I actually think the one Toshiko made me in Oxford was better as well. That's where we're gonna end this one. Guys, Osaka is a lot of fun. If you're ever around, do a street food sort of, um, I guess you could say, street food crawl. Give it a go if you get the shot. Anyway guys, if you do like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm the Wanderer, I've left my beanie, in the restaurant, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get my beanie back and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. <laughs> beanie recovered. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> am I, am I stupid? <laughs> <laughs>